G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a walk actually in Sydney. So I'm an hour south of uh, the Sydney city um, at a suburb called Heathcote. And um, there's meant to be a really nice walk out to a waterhole and a, um, a waterfall by the name of Ulula Falls. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, the track starts right from the station. So I've just got to find where the start is. So on the eastern side of Heathcote Station, there's the emergency center, so the fire brigade. Um, so the track starts just at the end of the um, these emergency centers here. So if you loop around behind the fire brigade service, emergency services. You'll see a um, Carlo Pools track sign to the entrance of the trail. It's sort of behind the row of houses that are next to the Heathcote station. And hopefully we'll be on to our walk from there. Right, so we've just come up to the um, Carlo track entrance where you enter to Kalu Pools and Alula Falls. So the walk is 11 k's if you walk down to Waterfall, which is the next suburb down from Heathcote. You sort of walk in via Kalu Pools and um, Alula Falls. And then there's, from what I can see, a service road that goes down to Waterfall. So I'm going to try and do that today, but we'll just see what the condition of the track looks like and um, go from there. So the track's quite sandy, so we're quite close to the coast, but it's made up of these beautiful rock steps and sort of in the sand, and it threads its way through the forest but quite a nice track a bit uneven but yeah very visible and wide most people would have no problem walking along it the further I get into this track the more beautiful it gets you sort of more walking on stone now but the just the rock formations around you are just stunning and you get a really nice view of the forest too. So I've been walking about half an hour now and it's suddenly opened up on both sides. So the track sort of follows a ridge and the view is just amazing. <laughs> You've got sort of a hill on the other side but you can see quite a way on, on the right hand side of the track. So I've been walking about 40 minutes and just got to Kalu Pools. Um, 40 minutes to an hour I reckon it'd take you. And it's lovely, there's lots of people here, it's a Sunday afternoon. But yeah, great easy walk down to a nice swimming pool. So we'll keep going on to Alula Falls now. When you come out at um, Kalu Pools Creek, if you just cross the creek, you'll come to a sign that points you on to Alula Falls. So we'll keep going. But plenty of people stop for a swim at Kalu Pools. It's really nice. So the track descended down into Kalu Pools, but as soon as you start on the track to Alula Falls, it climbs back out of the the gully that the river is in. So there's a little bit of elevation change but really the track's been pretty easy so far. It's graded grade three out of five I believe. So yeah, a moderate track, not too difficult. It looks like the Alula Falls track will be more difficult than the Kalu Pools track though. Most people definitely stop at the Kalu Pools. 
So I'm about 15 minutes from Kalu Pools now and it's really opened up. Until now it's been quite thickly forested and there's been plenty of shade but it's mostly just short shrubs now and so yeah a little bit more exposed definitely remember your sunscreen. Sadly I didn't get to film it but I was just walking along and noticed a fairly large brown snake in the grass beside me so definitely remember snake bandages and just keep your eyes out he sort of slithered off after I stopped but yeah be careful definitely don't want to go near him so I've just walked into this clear rock and you can see Sydney just off to the left on the horizon so it's crazy something so beautiful such a nice walk it's only an hour out of Sydney so it took about 50 minutes to get to Alula Falls and when you come out <laughs> it doesn't look like much but um yeah you just sort of have to walk around the side of it and it's pretty cool there's a decent drop so I've just got to Alula Falls and at first you don't think it's much but you sort of come around the side of them and it's a really pretty waterfall. So I thought I'd stop and have some lunch. It's taken about two hours to get here but I've been stopping and starting, taking photos. Um, it's about four and a half k's to Alula Falls and then another five and a half onto Waterfall where I'll catch the bus back to Sydney. But yeah, so far a really nice track, beautiful scenery and beautiful waterfall to finish it off. Anyway, I better get into my lunch. So Lula Falls is actually a campground as well as the falls. Um, and there's a toilet and everything. So it'd be pretty nice to camp here. So to continue on to waterfall, you have to follow the signs to the toilet, the campground toilet at Alula Falls. And then you come out on this fire access road and there's a sign saying Alula Fire Trail, waterfall 5.5 kilometers to go. So on the home stretch, should be easy enough walking now that we're on the fire access road. So in my attempt to find the trail back to Waterfall, I sort of followed the river, up river a little bit. And you come out at another set of falls, which aren't quite as spectacular, but you come out at the bottom of them and they're actually really pretty. And I'd say a lot of people turn around before going and looking at them. So it's definitely worth having a look. If you come to the clearing, pointing straight ahead to the toilets, there's a little track off to the right, and it's only about 20 meters down the track. And you come out at this beautiful little fall. So definitely don't skip it if you're doing this walk. So I'm just coming into waterfall now. It's been a great walk. It's taken about an hour from uh, Alula Falls to Waterfall, the place. Um, on the map it said it would take 2 hours 50 minutes, but um, it was only 5 k's, so I didn't think it would take that long. But, yeah, just coming on to back onto the road now. Thanks heaps everyone for joining me on yet another adventure. This is a bit different, not in far north Queensland anymore, but just as beautiful and a really nice walk. So if you're ever down in Sydney and looking for something to do, I highly recommend it. Anyway, thanks again for joining me and until the next one, happy hiking.